step two of this outrageous art lesson is that we're going to take our paper circuit robots that we drew on poster board or cardstock or really thick paper. We drew and designed our own robot that has to have a purpose. This robot is called the Valor Bot. Since I'm on Team Valor, I'm Pokemon, of course. And this robot's primary function is catching Pokemon. I wish I could really invent a robot like this. Now, once I finished drawing it with pencil and shading it with colored pencils, then I painted the negative space around it. I used markers on the letters. And this would be called mixed media because I used a little bit of everything to add the color and the value. Um, we also have some metallic paints that look really good since these are supposed to be robots. I used silver paint for his arms and a very small paintbrush. Now it's still kind of wet, but I want to go ahead and show you how we're going to make these into a paper circuit. Now this is called a STEAM project because we're combining science, technology, engineering, art, and maybe even a little bit of math. But mainly in science we're learning about energy. And one thing you have to know is how to create a complete circuit or a loop for chemical energy to work. So what you're going to need is a lots of these small LED light bulbs. This one's red. They come in lots of different colors. This one's yellow. We also need a small coin battery. And then we need a conductor, which is copper tape. And this I think I ordered on Amazon. Copper tape um, will conduct the energy or the electricity and it will allow our LED light to light up. So first thing you're going to do is pick a spot for your light bulb to go. Mine's going to go in this little bulb right here at the top and you can poke a hole with a really sharp pencil. Just be careful not to poke your finger. Okay. Now I just poked a small hole there. I'm going to take my red LED light bulb. I'm going to stick it through the hole and then you need to turn your paper over to the other side. Now the light bulb has two wires at the back. One is positive, one is negative. So you want to bend those wires back and then we need to find out where the battery is going to go. You're going to kind of make a switch. So I like to take my coin battery and I like to find a good spot that I'm going to trace and cut out. Okay, so I think I can put the switch right here. So I'm going to trace that circle with my pencil and then I need to poke a hole, not cut the entire hole out, but at least cut an opening so that I can open and close the circuit. Okay, so now I made a little flap. So it opens and closes, open and closes. Now I need to make two lines of copper tape. One is gonna go from the positive down across the battery like this. And then the other one is gonna go from the other side across the switch. So I'm actually gonna make this one go across the hole and this one's gonna go over the switch. So I wanna estimate, cut it, and peel off the back of the tape. Okay, so one piece of tape is touching one side of the bulb. The other piece of tape is going on the other side. And then I need a piece that goes across the button to close that circuit. So there's a complete circuit going from each one. Now I need to test my battery. So I'm going to put my battery in. You kind of have to wiggle it around and keep playing with it until you find the spot that works. And I guess I should have tested my battery to make sure it was a working battery. That one's definitely working. Okay, so it took quite a few times. I had to move the battery around just a bit, but as you can see, I have the battery turned this way. Um, one side has positive, one side has negative. 
And on the back, I made the complete circuit. So one side goes across the hole, the other side goes through the button to the other side. And then I put my battery in like this. And then you press the button and the circuit makes the light bulb come on. So it's a completed circuit. So now I have my very own Valor Pokemon robot. It's gonna find a Snorlax for me that I've been looking for. So good luck making your paper circuits and I hope you've learned a lot and had fun about learning about circuits and electricity.